spoken to Jeff Fox in Sunning Hill, and I knew he worked at the tank factory once on Trobham Common, with a load of history going right back to when Queen Victoria reviewed the troops as a monument to that. But I didn't know he was into guitars. I'm with Jeff, Jeff Fox, and we're talking about the tank factory and other stuff. So, what does he want to tell us, Jeff? Uh, mostly, mostly it's classified and I'm not allowed to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but if you know the right people, it can be declassified, right? Uh, yeah. oh, I was told when I was retired, you have signed the Official Secrets Act and practically everything, including the telephone directory, is classified and you are not to talk about it. Yes, I know, and in fact, I seem to recall having to say to somebody, I think it was a copper not that long ago, which was, uh, I, will, I could tell you, but I'd have to kill you after, right? But, that's <laughs> not so funny, is it? But you, know, you were saying about the history of the... Well, I worked with a load of old chodden people, and they were old men who were just retiring. Yeah. And they knew all about Chob the Chobham area. Yeah. And these are men who have been in the war, some of them have been in the First World War. Even. Blimey, yeah. Because some of these poor buggers got both wars. Yeah. And they would tell me about Chopping Common and the yeah. fact that during the war time it was all Nissen huts and troops and soldiers all over the place, which yeah. is why there's lumps and bumps and holes everywhere yeah, all over Chopping Common. Yeah. And at the time the metal detector people were all out there looking for bits of old memorabilia yeah. from the military. I, that wasn't so long ago, I think, when they were doing that, wasn't no, it? No, no, it's not. They're still doing that, probably. Yeah. But uh, they would say, yeah, yeah, of course, they used to test all the tanks on the common. Yeah, and all that that's that. Thing, and, and, and all this sort of thing. Yeah. But, but as for talking about the inside of the place, it's a no-no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, Chobham Armour was invented there, wasn't it? Well, that's why they called it Chobham Armour. Yeah. You know, yeah. Of which I knew absolutely nothing and made it my business to know actually. <laughs> yeah, nothing. best not to know. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't want to know. Yeah. For our side of concern, one bit of metal at last like another bit of metal. Yeah. And all I'm interested is, what's my job? Exactly. Which took up enough time as it was. Yeah. As we were firemen, ambulance drivers, policemen, and anything else. So you, you're handling in sort of the security of the site and stuff, were you? Yeah, and security, and, yeah. and the ambulance. Because there was right. a lot of people there and a lot of experimental work and people yeah. getting injured. Yeah. And the fire side, we all trained firemen. Right. So we had quite enough to do without worrying about what's going on within the place and who's no. doing this and what. So roughly what years was that then? Were you working there? Years from 1973 when, to 1994. Blimey. Yeah. Not that long ago, is it? No. No. Yeah. Yeah. I remember you saying about... Um, because the Bansals live just next door. Uh, and I remember you telling me about that sign with the bullet holes in it uh, oh, yeah, yeah, on the way to Chobham. Yeah. yeah. Sort of knew of that. I've uh, been there for ages, it. Yeah, yeah I, holes, it's, it's it? somebody's nicked it, I think, probably to sell it. But uh, what was your guess? Was that, I reckon, a Bren gun or? It was a snub nosed bullet. Oh, you know? Well, no. no. I'll, I'll... It was a pattern of shots. Yeah, but they were pushed through. All right. There was a. When a snub nosed bullet hits something, it pushes out a bit behind it. Yeah. Instead of a pointed bullet. Yeah. So, all I know is a snub nosed bullet, maybe a pistol even. Oh, right. But see, so somebody, because it looked as though when I, when I remember seeing the sign, it was a pattern of shots. Yeah. Right? But you think they might have done that deliberately? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it made it look as though it was a Bren gun or something. Yeah, yeah, there was a Bren gun, a 9mm Bren gun pushing. Well, you never know. Uh, yeah, but anyway, so that. So with the key thing it was what, uh, same as a dun dun bullet, is it? I don't know, I'm not an expert. Yeah, it's a it's a round bullet, round round ended bullet. Yeah. So uh, it goes into you, it takes out most of your body. Yeah, yeah. Um, it makes a small hole going in and a big one coming out. So yeah, exactly. Whereas a rifle bullet oh. almost always now, pointed and uh, you get a clean right. shot. Now that is that is where because we haven't got internet here, I couldn't even getting on theirs. There's a lovely little video where I'm demonstrating, uh, it was a little trick of course, but a tr a demonstrating smart ammunition in my dad's old air gun to the Bansals, right? And uh, that does the same thing. It was a little hole in the front and a great big hole at the if, back. If it's a pointed bullet, it will plough through, but if it's, yeah. if it's a snub nose bullet, it will push yeah. a lot out. You don't want to be shot yeah. with a snub nose no, bullet. No, exactly. Well, not a nice subject, because I'm a load more, but what I'm hoping is, 
he was just grabbing the opportunity and I'm hoping Jeff in slower time can uh, come round to our place right whenever he likes just give us a bell warning if you like and um, we can show him the stuff which I can't show him because we're not there that we've already got and um, I'm just looking at your things one of our youngest daughter is mad keen on guitars right you've got a load of stuff here haven't you goodness me but yeah so yeah, and you were saying you got a yeah, you got a medal mandolins. before they closed down the place. Their mandolins are small ones, right? Yeah, I made them. You made you made it. Yeah, I made them. Yeah. What the mandolin? Mandolins. Blimey! Yeah. I make the mandolins. Yeah, goodness. I had nothing to do at the winter time for three or yeah. four years. I made mandolins. Yeah. So you're back to your other hobby and that stuff. Is it kind of singing group where you caught your toe? Coat yeah, it start started again on the fourteenth of next month. Right. This month now. Yeah. We're going over and starting to get together again. Yeah. Those that are still around, one or two, if we've lost one. Yeah. And one's got Alzheimer's. Oh, right, so yeah. So we've got a couple missing now. Yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. Right, I'm going to stop this video clip now, right? And don't know what I'll do it. I expect Jeff would tell me what to do with it, but <laughs> something else. So I'll just stop that now. There we go. It's, it's a Washburn D13 in. Yeah. It's a straight copy of a pre-war Martin HD28, right. which, which are a second mortgage job these days. Right. right, so daughter Michelle would be very interested in that stuff, but she's not having it. And, uh, and my mate Gus, who's into electric guitars. <laughs> I'm glad I kept that to clip, so I'm going to shoot it off now. And uh, any time you want to pop round, Jeff, that'd be brilliant. Okay, lovely. Yeah, lovely. But uh... I keep saying I want to get away again, but he said, and he knows that if he if he doesn't uh, let me get away, I'm going to end up shooting more clips. But he's just gone to get what he calls a resonator yes, guitar. Yes. Here we go. Get resonator guitar. Right. So. What's a resin? I don't know. I, I've got friends who'll know, but like Gus. It's a square neck resonator. Right. Played flat. Yeah. With a, with a bar. Yeah. Hang on, I'll pick that up. It's batteries, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Oh. That is a, that's, that's the bar. Oh, that's the bar. That's the bar. But I can see loudspeakers on it, so. <laughs> what is it, an early electric one? So, so well, okay. The technique. So you. I mean, I don't. I, I don't know how many years it is. I even. Touched. So it's got loudspeakers. It got got amplifier in it, or is it just an ordinary guitar, but with? No, it's got a an aluminium cone in there. Yeah. That is like a speaker. Ah. Huh. But it's aluminium. Yeah. And it's driven from a central screw that goes down from the bridge and drives this cone. So is it all mechanical yes, or is it, it is, there's no electric no, there at all? Totally mechanical. That's incredible. I don't know what your taste in music is, but uh, you're not into uh, a few bars of something obviously rock, like um, Stones or something no, like that. No, you, not you, into that. You, you can. Huh? You can. Yeah. Let's put a finger pick on. Right. You can. You can play something like honky tonk women. Yeah, yeah, honky tonk women.
I just so happens that a good Japanese friend from years ago on the on the internet, uh, he was crazy about rock music, and he said, when I heard Honky Tonk Woman, Woman, it really blew my mind. <laughs> you can play. Right, Robin, get out of here now. <laughs> was done in 1912 this thing. God blimey. When you hear it you wonder why rock and roll took so long. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a little wave then, Jeff. <laughs> bye bye, all. And it's peeing down with rain.